All right, guys, I got this Klipsch Gig XXL. Now, this speaker, I think it's just a rebranded speaker. We're going to do a quick unboxing for you guys. I've already got the tape off of most of it since it was taped up pretty good. Let's see what's in here. Got some kind of manual. That's uh, the power cord. Got a wired microphone. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, it's a very cheap. It's all plastic. It's connected. It doesn't come out. It's very cheap. It's a very cheap old microphone. Looks like we got the speaker itself. And looks like it's on the bottom. So there we go. Got your controls up here. You got gold knobs. I guess that's supposed to make it look high, high dollar. All your inputs are here. You have no inputs on the back. You got a port, place for your power cord. All right, let's take a closer look at the controls. Now your volume knob is independent from your tablet or your device, your phone. So you turn the volume. And it's quite laggy. Uh, it takes a while after you turn it for it to go down or bro. So probably the best thing is just leave it at max volume. Control the volume from your device, tablet, what have you. These gold knobs. Now this is a this is just a Chinese speaker that they've rebranded, but they put gold knobs on it, I guess, to make it look cool. That's your echo control and your guitar volume. So there you have line in and line out. So you can daisy chain these to other speakers. USB A, you can play uh, off of that. You have your guitar jack and your mic jack. And there's a little slot there so you can put your tablet, your phone, and a handle. This is your mic volume over here. Power button, you have to hold that down for a long time. Play, pause. There's your bass button bluetooth button and your different light modes now the bass button's weird because you hold it down you, you push it and then the lights will flash twice that means when they flash white that means you're in bass boat bass mode push it again and it just flashes once in the ring that means the bass boost is off it's kind of weird i don't know why they have it set up like that but it is what it is so let's put this over here and back up the camera and give it a little sound check See what we got with this baby. All right, so a couple of other things to note about this is I've plugged it in and ran it off the battery also. It doesn't seem to get any louder when you plug it in. So I think it pretty much stays the same. Now this thing, out, I believe it only has an eight hour rated battery. You can run two of these together. And the battery thing, that's kind of a concern because eight hours is not very long and I imagine if you play it at loud volume with the lights on you're probably going to get a, a lot less than that so that's kind of concerning and this speaker does not have a hole in the bottom so you can't pole mount it that's kind of a disappointment also because I think that's a good option it's real easy to do you just put a whole little shallow hole in the bottom just like the uh, party box speakers and the on large party speaker so we're going to start this at, well, we'll start it at 20% and I'll show you the light mode and I'll do the bass boost. I think the bass boost is on right now. Here we go. This is 20%. I'll show you what I'm talking about with the, when you turn the bass boost on. The white flash once, that means it's off. flash twice that means it's on kind of a screwy way to do it let's go up to 40 percent face off Oh. 
go through the light modes. There's your second one. Third light mode. Fourth light mode. So, nothing great. Let's go up to 60%. track not the cleanest sound bass sounds a little bloated you get the bass boost on it's a little flabby sounded it's not tight Go up to 80. quite a bit of volume from 80 to 100 but you could hear it started getting really messy sounding it just sound like a big mess change track we noticed miles morales has slid to the back of the speaker <laughs> up to 60. Let's do a little off-axis test. Definitely changes things. Up to 80. thing in max volume all the time if you may blow out one of the speakers or something it had that kind of that kind of vibe i'm getting off of it but so there's the clip gig i was gonna call it glig 
the Gig XXL. There is a smaller one that only has one woofer. I think it only has one tweeter. This one has two 6.5 inch woofers. And the speaker itself is really not that big. So, yeah, this is not, I wouldn't call this a terrible speaker, but I wouldn't really call it worth the, I think the retail on this is 350. No, no way is this worth 350. That's only 50 bucks off of normal price of a Party Box 110. So this doesn't compete with the Party Box 110 for quality sound or bass. The bass, like I said, it's kind of flabby. And it's not, it's not real deep. The lights are just okay. I mean, this is a rebranded speaker. If you look at that other video I did of when this, these were coming out, me and another guy were talking about it on there in the comments, and then I found the speaker. I can't recall what it is right offhand, but it was in a Germany or some other country that this speaker came out under a different brand. So this is not really a true clip speaker. This is just a rebranded speaker they slapped their names on their name on and put a couple of gold knobs to make it look like, oh hey, this is this is classy high dollar speaker. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like I said, I don't this is not a terrible speaker, but I don't know if it's really any better than that on large party speaker. And definitely not as good as the Party Box 110. I may put this up against the W King T11 just for kicks to see what happens. Like and subscribe, guys, if you haven't done so already. Subscribe today. It's free. It costs you nothing. I guarantee it's worth every bit of nothing. We'll catch you guys in the next one.